Are you done? No. No? Hey guys, Danielle Cormier here today in my favorite segment called Kitchen Bitch. We are going to be cooking creme brulee. This is probably my favorite dessert of all times, so I can't wait for you guys to watch my video. But if you haven't already, if you can, just go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions, any desserts, or any type of foods that you would like to see me cook, just go ahead and leave that below as well. So enough of my talking, let me get on my favorite apron and let's cook this creme brulee. Okay, so now that I have my apron on, we're gonna go ahead and get things started. So today the utensils that you're gonna be needing is a pear knife, one vanilla bean, whole, a cutting board, and then you're gonna need a quart of heavy cream, which is about four cups that I've already measured out and I've put into a saucepan medium size on the stove, and you're gonna need a lid as well. So we're gonna begin today by cleaning out our vanilla bean to go in the cream. So we're just gonna pop this bad boy open, take him out, oh man, look at him. All right, so this is a beautiful vanilla bean. I like to kind of lay it flat to figure out what side it, it's gonna cut best on. <clears throat> and it looks like it's gonna be this side. Now I'm just gonna take my paring knife. I'm just gonna take my paring knife and I'm gonna hold it from the top about right here. And I'm gonna cut all the way down to the middle. Now make sure you're using a little pressure with this just because the bean itself can be a little hard to cut at times. And I'm gonna cut that all the way down. So now I have that happen. I'm just gonna flip that up and I'm gonna spread that bad boy open because that's what we want. We want the inside of this. So I'm just gonna spread it open as good as possible, whatever you can get. All right, now I'm gonna take the back end of that pear knife and I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna clean out all that bean from inside of this. If I can get this bad boy open. That bean that we have there, that nice black chunk, I'm just gonna tip it in our saucepan like that. And then if you have a rubber spatula, you just get that residue off of there. So now that you've got that cleaned out, you've got it in your saucepan, go ahead, take my spatula, and I'm just going to make sure I mix that bean in there, get all of the bean that was on my spatula off, I just use the back of my knife, make sure I get every ounce of the bean and the heavy cream all in my saucepan, because I don't want to waste any of it. And then I'm going to take that excess bean and I'm throwing that bad boy right in there. So next you're gonna turn on your heat, about a medium, and you're gonna wanna let this boil. You're gonna bring it up slightly till it starts boiling, and then once it starts boiling, you're gonna cover it with your lid, and then you're just gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. Okay, so here we have our heavy cream and our bean and it's almost began to boil. And right when it comes to a boil, I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna put a lid over it and I'm just gonna take it off the heat and I'm gonna allow that to sit for about 15 minutes. And next to us, I just have a kettle pot, a teapot, anything. Um, you can just use a pot, but you wanna go ahead and warm up about two quarts of water. I put about a half a liter in here, a liter. And um, you're gonna heat that up because you're gonna need that for your creme brulee once it goes in the oven. All right, so now that this is boiling, we're gonna go ahead, give that a stir. Make sure the bottom isn't burning. All right, now that that's boiling, go ahead, cut that off. Put a lid over it. We're just gonna move that to the back. And we're gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes. And while that's sitting, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come over to our sugar and egg yolk mixture. Okay, hi guys, so we're back. Now for this step, you're gonna need about, I like to grab about eight 
um, ramekins. They can be any color, any shape, as long as they can hold about six ounces or so. And then I have here about a half a cup of sugar. What you're going to do is you're just going to, you're going to hand mix all of this together. And when you start out, you're going to get this bright, bright yellow color, like you just, you know, split your egg. Okay, so now as you can see, we've got a nice lighter yellow consistency. It's not that bright orange that we did have. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that vanilla bean and heavy cream mixture. Just going to toss that around a little bit with another spatula. Now you want to incorporate this a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at a time. And I like to just go ahead and use a ladle. That way I'm not incorporating too much at a time, just an ordinary ladle. And I'm just going to take a spoonful of that or so at a time, and I'm just going to mix it in there. Because <clears throat> you don't want your egg yolk to scramble, so you just want to slow. Now I've been heating my oven um, at about 325 Fahrenheit. It's about 160, 62 degrees Celsius. And I've been heating that. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a shallow pan like this. And I like to place my that boiling water we had. And you wanna just fill the pan up halfway to where the ramekins are. And I like to do the water trick first. That way I don't get any water into my creme brulee. Hey. Yeah, it's hot. Let me say hi. Say hi. Over there. Hi. I picked this bowl specifically because it has like, you know, the little corn spout. I'm just going to take this and now I'm just going to pour it into my ramekins. You joining me? Now you're going to take this dish, you're going to pop it into the oven, and you're going to let this cook for about 40 to 45 minutes. And they're going to raise, and the tops are going to get a little brown, and that's when you know it's time to take them out. They're still going to be a little jiggly, but that's okay because we're going to set them in the fridge. Later. Hi guys, Danielle Clemmie, and I'm back, and it's been about 40 minutes since I popped those pre-release in the oven, and let's go ahead and check them out. All right, here's my oven. Ooh, got a little smoke, and this is what I was talking about. These are perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull these bad boys out and I'm going to stick them in the fridge. This is what you want. As you can see, they've braced up just a little bit and they're a little brown on the tops, which is perfect. So we're going to head and take them out of the hot bag and place them in the fridge. And we want to put them in the fridge for four hours or more. That way they get nice, solid, and cool. Okay, and here they are again. Whoa! Here they are again, and as you can see, they're slightly jiggly. I'm just going to jiggle the pan. It's the kind of jiggle that you want. It's firm, but it's not super loose, and it's not runny. And we'll come back, and we'll do the best part, which is putting a little sugar on top of them and setting a little flame to them. Here we have our torch. This is something that I just got off the local economy. It was about 10 euro and it is heavenly. And this is the gas that I just used to fill it up. So be advised, children, do not make this at home without your parents around. So I'm just going to take some granulated sugar and I like to take a big spoon like this. And I'm just going to take that sugar and we just going to sprinkle it all over this. Get it nice and coated. And we're going to hit it with the blowtorch. Now I like to just go in a streak. And then I bring it in in a circle. And I'm just going to do this until all that sugar that we just put on there is melted evenly. All right, and here we just have some blueberries or raspberries. You can put strawberries or whatever you like and have a little rat in my food over here who's eating everything and then i just made i whipped up some nice homemade whipped cream earlier just some heavy cream vanilla sugar 
and a little bit of vanilla bean paste. I'm just gonna put that right on there. Put a few blueberries on there. And we'll just toss one little raspberry on there. All right, and there we go. It's our crumb.